feel like there's this age between toys and boys and girls are much too grown up to be playing with dolls anymore and they're at this in-between stage. Welcome to Tween Queen Central, where you can learn about all your favorite tween celebrities, watch videos and play games. This tween word is something that marketers made up so that they could sell these teenage items to younger and younger kids, and depending on which marketer you're talking to, it can be anywhere from 7 to 14. There are lots of problems that go along with the whole idea of the tween market. The first is the whole idea of the commercialization of childhood, of turning kids into consumers at such early ages. So what this does is it takes all of the complexities of human experience and it distills it down to commodities I want. And if I don't get it, I feel deprived. It really rushes girls into adulthood and sexualizes them and gets them obsessed about their appearance and about their bodies and about how they look at ever earlier ages. So marketers know that six-year-olds want to be like 13-year-olds. They know that 13-year-olds want to be like 18-year-olds. I can hang out with my friends and have fun, but also get my stuff done. <laughs> you know, it's like this total, like I am, I have a career and a, a rocking group of friends and I'm only 10. It's really interesting to me the way um, these girls now become brands and that people talk about them as brands. I'm always amused when people in the news media go up to young celebrities and talk to them as if they are the authors of their fate. They're not. Uh, in, in some ways, the, the very pressure that's put on ordinary girls is magnified on, on these celebrities. So I think that all of this pop culture, the celebrity status, this constant bombarding of images, that one minute someone's famous, the next minute they disappear, this is very strange. We don't actually know what the effects of this are ever going to be. Only looking back will we know.